Hi guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So recently I have been playing Pacific Drive. It's a very well designed game and it's made with Unreal. The first level you enter is this jungle in which you have a couple of objects that are floating in the air. They are rotating around themselves and they also have physics so when you bump into them they move. I figured replicating this in Unreal and trying to figure out how this works would be a cool idea. This is what I made in Unreal and as you can see we have the rotation for our objects and they also have physics so when you bump into them they move and I also added a sound effect so when our character hits the objects we can hear a sound effect as well all right uh, let's jump right in and see how we can set up the system all right the first thing you need to do is to create a blueprint so here in your content browser all right click hit blueprint and create an actor let's name it moving rock and open it up we need to add a static mesh here so in the components tab hit add search for static mesh and name it rock here we can add the static mesh that we want to work with so here let's just hit control the space and navigate to our mesh folders and drag in the object that you want to use let's scale it down a little so for example let's go with 0 0.5 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 all right now let's add it to our level and here it is In order to make it float, all we need to do is to enable physics. So here in the details tab, select your static mesh and you have this option here. Enable simulate physics and also disable gravity so it doesn't fall to the ground. Now if you compile and play, you can see that it simulates physics and when you hit it, it moves. The next thing we need to do is to make it rotate around itself so go back to your blueprint and here in the event graph add or keep this event tick and delete these two here the node you want to work with is add relative rotation for our rock so hit this option here and if you couldn't find the rock for some reason just drag it from your components tab and plug it in here set your z value on for example one meaning that on each frame your object will rotate one degrees around the z axis now if you compile and play you can see that we have this rotation here and if you bump into it it also moves there is a component here uh, called rotating movements and some of you guys may be familiar with this this also allows us to create rotation for our objects but when you want to uh, enable physics for your uh, objects this won't work so uh, if you try this you will see that this is not the way to go so just use this simple setup here in your event graph and you'll be good to go the next thing we can do to make it even cooler is to add a sound effect so when our character bumps into the objects we hear a sound as well just select your static mesh and here in the details tab scroll down to these events here the one we want to work with is on component hit so add an event based on hit 
and next all you need to do is to play a sound so search for play sound 2d and here you can choose the sound effect you want to work with here i downloaded this sound effect from pixabay all you need to do is to just search for free sound effects in different websites download the sound effect and next convert it into a WAV file so here just search for audio converter and drag your mp4 file into this section here next set it on wave and hit convert then drag your wave file into your content browser and you're good to go now here in this play sound to the function you can select your wave file and that's it Now you can see that when I hit the object, I can hear the sound effect, but it's sounding like this. It's repetitive and it doesn't sound good, so we need to fix that as well. All we need to do here is to use a do once. So search for do once and place it between your event and the function. What this does is that it only allows this function to be played one time. So here you can see that the sound is played only once. Now we need to reset this after, for example, one second. So here just add a delay, set it on, let's say one and connect it to this reset input here also double click on your wire and drag this down so it's easier to understand what's happening here is that after a second this will be reset and allows this function to be played again so now if you compile and play you can see that it's sounding much better and we don't have that problem anymore there are other ways to uh, do this but this is what i came up with and it works so yeah you can use this simple setup to get rid of the repetitiveness of your sound yeah that's it guys for this video and if you learned something new from this tutorial please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching see you in the next one